Hi, this is Hanser from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Tom Kench. So Tom Kench is really good in solo queue just because <clears throat> I feel like he can be picked into any situation. He doesn't really have any super hard counter picks, he's just like a solid pick all around. And he's also really good in solo queue because a lot of times people like to just play full AD comps, and if you just stack armor on Tom Kench, you're literally never gonna die, and you can 1v5 the whole team. So for landing as Tom Kench, I think it's best to try to walk up and harass with your Q. If you can get like one or two Q stacks and they overextend for a CS and you walk up get a few autos on them, then you should use your W and just get a lot of damage and a really good trade on them. And you should, you should try to avoid most damage, but don't be afraid to walk up, take a CS and trade it for like an auto attack just because you know your E will regen the health back and overall I think he doesn't have any wave clear in lane, but if he uses W on a creep, you can harass your opponent and clear the wave at the same time. It's really helpful. And you're not going to find much use in your ultimate other than like roaming around or just like ulting back to lane because you don't have anywhere else to use it. So it's really simple how to play Tom Kench, but you should know when your opportunities are to like all in your opponent if they overextend. So. Tom Kench is actually really hard to gank even though he has no dashes or escape spells just because he's super tanky and he can actually kill you in the gank if you aren't uh, careful of his minion wave. So he's also really good at setting up ganks because he can walk back to his tower if his laner is overextended just calls his jungler. They both set up in the ultimate and just flank the enemy top laner and just, just get a free kill that way too. He's just a pretty strong pick, and if you're diving, you should make sure to have your jungler tank first, and then just DPS the enemy laner, and then if your jungler's about to die, you eat him and run away. Team fighting in Tom Kench is pretty similar to most of the other tanks, but instead of going on the backline, you have to be more careful of saving your carries with your W, and that's really what makes Tom Kench really broken, is just the ability to like make your carry invulnerable and just save him from any CC. So if you're walking up for a siege and like someone gets hit by a cocoon, you can instantly save the carry and then disengage the fight. And also he's really good at killing backline just because you can't really peel him off you. He just runs at you the whole time and he does a lot of damage with his ulti auto attacks and his Q. So he's just like a huge threat in team fights. He's really hard to kill because of his E and you should mainly just play to how the team fight is going instead of just like looking to go on the backline or looking to only save your carries. A lot of people look at like Tom Kench's Q and W as just like standalone skills, but you can actually Q a, a minion or a jungle monster from range and then W and it'll pull it back into you so you pretty much just eat the minion and then you can throw it back out again. So th this trick is really good if you're really low in lane and like want to harass your opponent or just clear the wave. You can just grab a melee minion with your Q, W it, and then throw it back out. Or you can say if you're contesting like an objective, like a scuttle crab, then you can Q the scuttle crab, eat it, and then throw it back in your team and just secure the free vision. It also works for most jungle camps, I think, and it's just a really good tool overall. Another tip for Tom Kench is just to time your E correctly, your E shield correctly. Don't be afraid to use it sometimes if you know you're just gonna get bursted and you don't wanna not be able to use your shield in the fight. So like if you get too greedy and you die before your shield goes off, then you should realize that you need to like pop it earlier just in case because if you're dead, it's not gonna be worth it. So you should just not get greedy for the shield and like get like a full health shield. If you get like half HP, it's still fine. And just realize when you, you have to use it and when you don't because sometimes they already used all their damage and you can just regen most of the health back, but if they still have a lot of burst, you have to use their shield. I think Tom Kench in competitive play is actually a really strong champion just because he can be blinded top lane in draft and he just doesn't have any real counter picks and he's like such a good champion that he'll always do well in team fights no matter what and he skills really well with items so Overall, he's just a super safe pick, and he can carry like a lot of games just by stopping the enemy CC or stopping the enemy burst from going off and pretty much destroying their whole comp. So on Tom Kench, it's usually just good to have any combination of armor, magic resist, health, and attack speed. So normally what I like to run is um, attack speed reds, health per level yellows, armor quints, and scaling magic resist blues. On Tom Kench, I usually like to go 0, 12, 18, just because I feel like it gives you the most amount of tankiness and like 
a pretty good laning phase with it. So in Cunning, I like to go Savagery just because you don't have any like base AD stats and your base AD is really low. So it'll help you a lot with last hitting. And Merciless is still very good. And Dangerous Game is always good in team fights, especially if you're a tank because it makes you harder to kill. And the Resolve Tree, I like to go Runic Armor and Perseverance just to make you sustain longer. And I think Runic Armor applies to your E when you're regening health. So it just makes it stronger. Perseverance, just more health regen. Um, swiftness is really good because you don't have any gap closers. So if you're being slowed and kited, it's a lot better than not having it. And grasping the dying is just like the best mastery or keystone for tanks, just because you heal so much of your HP back. So for leveling skills on Time Kench, I think the best way to do it is to get Q first, then W, and then E, just so you get all three abilities. And then you max Q, then max W, then max your ulti, and then max E last. I like this way because E, it, it's not worth maxing early because it doesn't really increase the regen. So it's better to have more damage or utility through your Q and W. And Q does actually a lot of magic damage for having like zero mana cost. And W is just a good skill whether you use it offensively or defensively. On Tom Kench, in the early levels, I think it's best to start out with like a Corrupting Potion, just to give you extra sustain in lane, and maybe a Doran Shield depending on the matchup if they're ranged, you can really make use of Doran Shield. Uh, after that, I think it's best to rush Swifty Boots, just to give you a lot of mobility in lane and be able to walk up and harass your opponent. And the two core items for Tom Kench are mainly Sunfire and Spirit Visage. Sunfire because he doesn't have a lot of innate wave clear, and Spirit Visage just because it helps you heal a lot more more and it's just a stress a strong item um after that you can go any any combination of tank items you want like dead man's plate or iceborne gauntlet or thorn mail or like a banshee's veil or like a guardian angel to make sure you're even tankier and last even longer in fights i think you shouldn't build any damage items on him because his kit just doesn't scale off of damage but it scales off tankiness thanks for watching make sure to check out my other videos at lowclass.com